What do you listen to when you're on the tube, at the gym, on a hot girl walk, or running errands? Chances are, it's probably a podcast. The podcasting industry has grown massively over the past few years, becoming the go-to medium for sharing stories, insights, and knowledge with a global audience. Brands such as McDonald's, Slack, Duolingo, and even Trojan have made it a part of their marketing strategy, giving listeners a combination of engaging stories, insights, educational episodes, as well as relatable content. There are currently 4.25 million podcasts registered worldwide, with 464 million listeners worldwide projected to reach over 500 million by the end of 2024. And it seems that more and more people are making podcasts part of their monthly listening routine. Do you listen to podcasts? I do. What podcast do you listen to? Uh, mainly The Girls' Bathroom by uh, Sophia and Chinsia. I listen to a lot of football podcasts, the one with uh, Gary Neville in, The Overlap, class. The Fellas, nice when you're like, sat on the train, just listening to the podcast. Makes time go a lot quicker. Um, I listen to Dan Snow's History Hit because the real Roman Empire is my actual Roman Empire. Love and that. I'm an actual nerd. Oh my god, you are. Yeah. I love that. Mine's really basic. What podcast do you listen to? Call Her Daddy. Classic. Anything Goes, Emma Chamberlain. In a Monologue with Olivia Neal. Um, Inside Anna's Mind. The Smart Seven for a bit of news. Oh, with- and Help I Sexed My Boss. Fantastic. My friend loves that and I really Fantastic. need to give that a go. But have you ever thought about how many of those podcasts are actually reaching as many people as they could? As podcasting continues to grow, it's increasingly important that it's made accessible for all listeners, including those with disabilities. So aside from the obvious, why is it important that podcasts are accessible? Well, for one, when podcasts are accessible, they cater to a diverse range of audiences, including those with hearing impairments, as well as other disabilities, helping you reach a wider audience. But How does that even work? Luckily for you, inclusivity is at the heart of everything we do here at Purple Goat, so we're here to give you six tips for making your podcast more accessible. This may sound like a no-brainer, but quality sound is key to delivering a great podcast experience. And for people who are hard of hearing, clear and well-modulated sound can make a real significant difference. To get the best sound quality for your podcast, invest in a good microphone, choose a quiet and minimal echo space to record in, and use editing software to clear up any background noise. All of this will help improve clarity and make your podcast that much more accessible. Tip number two, transcripts. Aside from sound quality, transcripts are a great first step into making your podcast more accessible. Transcripts not only allow individuals who are hard of hearing or deaf to engage with your content, but also many other people, regardless of hearing ability, enjoy having a text version to reference or follow along with. Not to mention that having a transcript is also a great way for improving your podcast SEO. For tip number three, record your podcast as a video podcast. Expanding your podcast into a video format can massively increase your accessibility. A video format caters to people who benefit from visual cues, such as lip reading or facial expressions. Also, video podcasts can have visual aids such as graphics, captions, and on-screen text, which all provides a much more inclusive experience. Tip number four, use accessible language. Using clear, simple, and jargon-free language makes your podcast that much more accessible to people who might not have English as their first language or who have cognitive disabilities. It also just makes your podcast more enjoyable and easier to follow for all listeners. Tip number five, captions. For video podcasts, captions are an absolute necessity. They are a great alternative to spoken words and sounds, making your podcast that much more accessible to people who are deaf or hard of hearing. But just to flag, try to avoid one word, single lines of text, as not everyone has the same processing ability. Some of your audience might need a longer line of text that stays on screen for longer so that they are able to understand what's being said. Lastly, tip number six, inclusive and accessible podcast advertising. If you're going through all the effort of making your podcasting activity more accessible, then you might as well go all the way through to your marketing. Make sure that all of your promotional materials, social media posts, and any other marketing assets are made accessible too. This includes providing alt text for images, descriptions for your videos, ensuring your website is easy to navigate, and that you're using inclusive language. And if you create podcast covers for your videos, then make sure those are accessible too. You can check out another Purple Goat podcast episode for more tips on inclusive design. By following these tips, you'll be well on your way to creating a podcast that's enjoyable and accessible to all. And who wouldn't want that? As always, for more content and tips like these, you know where we are.